सो हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय वेरी फर्स्ट कोर्स ऑन जीरो टू वन एडवांस टेस्ट ट्वेल्व कोर्स सो इन दिस कोर्स विल बी लर्निंग ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स एंड ऑल द मॉड्यूल्स रिलेटेड टू एस क्यू एल विच आर एप्लीकेबल टू एनी जॉब प्रोफाइल फॉर डेटा एनलिस्ट एंड डेटा साइंटिस्ट रोल्स इन दिस कोर्स विल बी फोकसिंग मोर ऑन अ प्रैक्टिकल प्रैक्टिस रेदर देन डूइंग अ थियोट्रिकल गेनिंग अ थियोट्रिकल नॉलेज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट स्टार्ट विद द कोर्स so what's sql so sql is generally a language which we use to communicate with uh, rdbms so rdbms is relational database management systems so various example of rdbms rdbms are mysql sql lite postgre sql oracle etc so generally what we do uh, in sql will be like let's say we have a particular table in our database and then we want to know how many customers who have ordered in this particular month or in this particular year so we can get this particular data by writing sql code and telling the uh, database to present the data so we'll be we'll be writing the code to present such data from our database now let's start directly with the query so before moving on to the a various dynamics of sql i just want to show you guys how does the sql code looks like and what are the various components which are present in the code let's start with the very basic one i have a sql editor ready with me so i'll just copy paste this particular code in my editor and let us see the results what does it show so just copy paste this very basic code which we encounter in the sql and then i just run it and as you can see some uh, columns have come up so the column names you will see are, are exactly the same as the column names which we are wanting to be displayed in the in the result so, so select is just from where we start our sql query and then we are telling to present these particular four columns from our database that is customers in this particular case now let's say i want to present all the tables which are present in my database so i'll replace all the table names with a star so star means we are telling the code to give all the tables all the columns which are present in our customers database i'll just run the sql code and you could see Uh, all the columns have come up now now le let me run some more queries if we have so this we just saw right now uh, by replacing all the column names with a star we are able to display all the columns which are present in our database this is a one level up query a little advanced query i would say so i'll just uh, copy this query also and paste in my editor sql code contains some complex things such as joins and uh, here we have the group by thing we'll be coming up to all such functions in our course ahead for right now i'll just run this query and what does it show to me so this is exactly the same data which i gave the example a little bit before i want to see how many orders have been placed by all the customers which are present in my database so you could see uh, we have used our customers table as well as the orders table and then we have joined it so i will be looking into all such things in our upcoming course and the group by clause here so that also act that also has some functions uh, related to that we'll be coming to all such various functionalities in our course ahead let's move forward and let's start creating our databases before starting that i'll be I'll, i'd like you to focus on this particular uh, skeleton where we have this server and our server would contain various databases and in the databases will be having various columns present so in this example i've just taken two uh, two databases and two columns but there could be as many number of database present in our server and as many column names which are present in our server 
let's move ahead without wasting much time let's start with directly creating databases in our server so uh, there could be many databases present in our server as we just discussed so uh, the, the the syntax to make a database in our server is create database and then we'll have to write the name of the database which we want to create just a rule in mentioning the database name there should be no space present in the database the name which we are providing it you could have underscore present in i mean the the words which you are giving in the database name but there should not be any space so i'll just move to the editor right away and show you by creating a database right now also one more thing i i i want to see like number uh, like how many data database are present currently in my in my server we can sh we can see it just by giving this particular command show databases so we i'll just move to the editor and i'll just see how many databases are present right now okay so we could see these many databases are present right now in my server i'll just create any database right now with any name that does not matter but i'll just want to give you guys a uh, example of how it looks so we'll have to write the command create database and then we'll have to write the database name let's say i want to create a database of uh, uh like all the all the e-commerce uh, uh data or the number of uh, number of things we have in our store so we'll have a create database and store data let's say let enter so it's successfully executed now uh, previously when we just ran show databases uh, this particular database was was not present that is store data but right now we have created it so that means if we run the show databases uh, command that means uh, to store data database should come up let us run it show databases and yeah successfully we could see store data database has come up in our server right now that means the database have been stored but for this example i have a database with me book underscore store which will be using in this particular course and uh, we'll be storing various book data in this particular database so that was just for showing you an example of how should we go on creating a database let's move to the next slide ahead i think we have seen everything one more thing we have created a database and i don't want it anymore it does not serve any purpose to me how should we delete it so that for that we have a command drop database and we'll have to write the database name let us just drop or delete the store data the database which we just created right now Okay, there should be space here it has ran successfully now this database has been deleted that means that it should not come up when we give a select database command let us just run it and correct we are not getting the store underscore data database in my server that completely means that we have deleted that particular database from our server let's move to the next topic as we have seen in the the flow chart before that uh, our server would contain various databases but when we write a particular query how would the code know from which database should this table come from 
so before using any database we'll have to write and we'll have to tell our sql code that we are going to use this particular database for this particular query so for that particular thing the command is use and we'll we'll just have to provide the database name so we'll be using the bookstore database right now so i'll just try to use book underscore store database changed that means we are currently running every command in the book underscore database which is successfully executed now to see in which database we are currently running our code in for that we have the command select database so we'll just write this command right now here correct answer comes up we are currently running our code in book underscore store database that means we are right moving on to the next slide now we have our database ready with us let's start directly creating tables in our database so the syntax for creating a table in our database would be create table and then we'll have to provide the name of the table now the rules remains the same there should not be any space in the table name which we are giving and inside the bracket we'll have to provide the column names and the data types which are pertaining to those particular columns so in our particular present database book underscore store let us create a table named as books we'll store two columns the first column should have be having the name of the books the second column should have the price of the books so I'll just copy this code and paste it in my editor and it tells me that books table already exist in my database book underscore so that is actually right because uh, we have a books table present from before let me show you by creating another table different from books and uh, this will be storing the other names of those books and the name of the book so i'll just give the author just write order only author the first should be name of the author and i'll just give the data type the second column should be the name of the book so book name and this should also be a voucher just mention it that's it for now successfully ran that means we have these two particular tables in our database right now that is one is books and the other one is author so le if let's see if i want to see all the data which is present in our author table so for that we, just before we saw the select star command i'll just write select star from author what do you guys think what should come up i'll just hit enter it's an empty set that's correct because we do not have any data present right now in the other table we just created the table right now and there's no data which is present let's see if we have any data present in our books table no it's also empty one more thing which we'll be looking in the course at would be entering data in our tables and using it to show various other functionalities and the other stuffs in addition to this i would like to show you one more thing which gives a better picture on our table so that's desc and you just write the table name 
we could see various columns various fields are coming up and each of these data has a certain information attached to it the first column that is field in the in that particular column we have all the columns which are present in the books table so we have two columns name of the book and the price of the book and the type of of the data which should be entered in those particular columns so in the name column we should have the i mean the type should be varchar and in the price column the type should be an integer the third column is null that is certain properties attached to it key default all those are very important characteristics of table which we'll be looking in the course ahead so uh, thank you guys for uh, spending your time in this particular video hope to see you in the next ones thank you